Hey, welcome back to the channel. Austin here. Do two things. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. I am back in my studio from spring break trip with my family. We were down in Florida. My son had a lacrosse uh, tournament down there with this high school team. So I uh, had a great time in the Fort Lauderdale, Delray Beach area. I spent some time in Miami, all that kind of stuff. But want to get into kind of what's going on with crypto. And you notice I titled the video, it was not a crypto crash. We needed this. And kind of what, what was the idea for this, this video was, where is the Bitcoin crash people are talking about, right? And uh, I'm a huge fan of Bitcoin Archive. If you haven't already followed them, give them a follow. Lots of great content, lots of good stuff having to do with Bitcoin and more of the macro view of crypto, okay? And so I wanted to kind of talk about that. You know, people out there, there are people out there that are like, you know, Bitcoin's going to go to 20,000, it's going to crash and things of this nature. And, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I really don't see that happening. If you go back and look at all the historical data, uh, the pre-having cycles of the last four plus halvings, um, it's not a thing. You know, we have a pullback period, which I think is what we are seeing right here now, where we saw uh, Bitcoin pull back just a little bit. And uh, let me show you kind of what I'm talking about. Like, if you look at Bitcoin, you know, we went from its all-time high it set uh just recently on march 14th which was again two days ago right of seventy three thousand dollars to where we're at currently at at 16 68 thousand this was expected this was something that we needed to happen you cannot have a chart that consistently goes up and up and up and up right this is bitcoin's chart you're looking at trading view uh, uh where each one of these candles is six hours worth of trading data okay and you can see in this blue box here at the top in the last 48 days right here bitcoin has gone up 76 percent okay I, you know, okay. People are like, well, this, you know, this right here is what I'm scared of where we went from there to there, you know, see how we went down, right? They were, the, people are talking about this. Okay. Well, again, it's to be expected. We needed this consolidation. We needed this kind of pullback scenario because I'm going to remind you like right from here to there, 77%. Okay. I'm not worried about anything. Are you worried about anything? I'm certainly not. And by the way, this is my software X1 algo giving a buy alert down here in the lower left hand corner. That's a buy alert right there. And that's a sell alert. And between those two, that's a 77 plus percent move up. Okay. So if you're interested, links in the description below, check it out. There's a 30 day, no questions asked refund guarantee. And you can see that the prices are even cheaper than this. There's a discount code below in the description as well. So you really have 30 days to try it. And if you don't like it, then you can give it back. Let me show you Solana's chart. In the last 107 days, the software back here said it's time to buy 900% up. Just to give you some perspective, $1,000 of Solana bought 179 days ago, as an example, would be worth over $9,000. All right. Well, all right. Let's look just recently. Look right here to here. In the last 17 days, Solana is up 88%. It gave a buy alert. See, these are buy and sells, buy and sells. Of course, you know, you could have just bought and sold, bought and sold every single time the software said it. By the way, you can get alerts set sent to this device, just, you know, Solana buy, right? Okay. So check it out. Links in the description below. Now, the bottom line, this is not a, this is not a thing that, that we, we, we did not have a crash. Uh, we are not in trouble and, you know, this was to be expected and something we needed this little small pull back. And by the way, if it goes even further back, that's okay. We saw Ethereum pull back from, you know, like roughly, uh, I think it was $4,000. It's not loading. There we go. We saw Ethereum pull back to 3,600. Okay, cool. I mean, this is the natural ebb and flow, if you will, of crypto. Okay. So um, that's really what I wanted to say. And again, I thought that this was a great, uh, you know, quote here, where's the Bitcoin price crash people are talking about. So we're going to end on that note. As always, I appreciate you. See you.